Oh, really good uh, question. So, you know, how do I uh, prepare for, let's say, a large project, mm -hmm. right? If you're on a film, so first, like uh, Alice Through the Looking Glass, that was like the that's the next thing that's coming out that I can actually talk about. So, um, how that one began was uh, in the very beginning. Hopefully, you have a script. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes you're on, like we've been on when it's just a director, maybe not even a director, just a writer and some producers, maybe not even a writer, maybe just a bunch of producers. So um, you always start off with the meeting and the meeting is really not to pitch your ideas as much, even though you do a little bit, but more to uh, try to figure out what the director or the producers what they want this movie to be what's their vision and uh, a lot of times the thing that I found to be the most interesting that I never knew about a lot of times what happens is a lot of these producers directors they um, they describe how they want their film to be in words that are not visual so in other words like yeah I want this scene to be warmer Right, and it's like, what do, what do you mean? You want me to bring out the red? Mm -hmm. Paint in a bunch of red? No. You know, it's like, you have to interpret their words. So a really good example is, um, I was working on this film with this very famous, you know, A-level celebrity as the main character and, uh, you know, just exchanging notes, right? Um, so this person, I showed them, you know, the character, and then this person was like, well, yeah, I, you know what I really like? I like? I like the intensity of Al Pacino's eyes when he looks at you. <laughs> and he's like, but I don't want it to look like Al Pacino. You know, I don't want it to look like me, but I want it to feel like me. I want it to feel like the intensity of Al Pacino. And this guy... You know, his swagger, I really like his swagger. I don't want it to be his swagger, but I want it to feel like his swagger. And all this stuff, right? And it's like, well, what do I do now? So you gotta take the time to translate those very, like, emotional notes into visual notes. You know, so what does that mean? It means like the expression in the character's face needs to feel as intense as Al Pacino in one of his more more intense scenes, right? The posing needs to feel like this kind of a swagger, you know, that kind of a thing. Another um, very good example is uh, I worked on the Smurfs, you know, uh, a while ago. Um, that was very interesting because you're dealing with a very big license, right? And uh, when you're dealing with very big licenses, that means more people are usually involved. And you created the Smurfs. And now you're going to make... Sony uh, Animation is going to make a movie out of the Smurfs. Well, would you want to be involved? Yeah, because that is your biggest thing you know in your company that is your company um, are the president of uh, you know the animation at, at Sony they just spent how much money who knows how much money uh, acquiring the license for Smurfs so that person also spent you know whatever it might be say it's half a million dollars Will that person want to make sure that this movie goes well? Yes. You know, and all these people down the line. So then I ended up having um, meetings with all these executives because in the beginning there's no, there was no director. There's actually no story yet. It's a very, very, very loose idea of a story. So then we have these meetings. And I show them sketches of uh, the Smurfs and stuff like that and got to a point where everybody was saying yes i like it except for one person and that one person kept bringing up uh his love of Gollum. it's like 
Yeah, yeah, it's looking good. But you know what I really love? It's Gollum from Lord of the Rings. You know, and we're all like, that's, this is the Smurfs, though. How does that make sense, you know? And to, you know, just the regular kind of person listen to it, they might go, yeah, uh, that makes no sense. They want the Smurfs to look like Gollum. But no, it wasn't about that. It was if I dug deeper and I was, this is like one of those uh, rare times where I didn't fully understand what the heck he was talking about. Um, he meant that the translucency of the skin, he liked that translucency of the skin and the texture of the skin. Mm. And the way that I was painting the Smurfs, it didn't have enough skin texture. You know, so it's like all of these comments that you get from that first initial thing. A good idea is to record the conversation so you could play it back, listen to the notes over and over again, which is something that's helped me a lot. Um, but it's to understand and to translate the director, the producer, whoever it is, uh, their notes into something that you can kind of see as visual notes as opposed to just emotional notes um and then you, you you know hopefully you get a script and when you get the script what you do is uh i use an excel sheet so i make an excel sheet where i would put um the characters so as i read the script every character that i see because i'm designing characters i would write it down you know one line for each character the second column would be uh, a description of that scene. That scene that I feel is good, it's going to be nice to illustrate. You know, because for a movie, as opposed to TV, you want to try to capture movie moments, you know, before they happen kind of thing, before the movie's made. As opposed to TV where you design stuff that is supposed to be universal. So in other words, you design a dog and now this dog needs to be able to um, you know swim in the water it needs to be able to climb Mount Everest it might need to go into space because there's a space episode movies don't it's not like that it's like okay scene one scene you know like first act second act third act this is this scene that's that moment and that's it if you can nail that, then you, you'll get your design across and uh, everything will be good. So that's uh, another thing that differs um, TV and perhaps game to film. Film is all about showing the director and the uh, producers the film. You know, like, that's what it's going to look like. Um, However, animation, that's more for live action. Animation, you want to guide them. You have to, not guide, but you have to go with them through the process. So a lot of animation uh, projects, you're dealing with artists, which is great because they understand art. And you would start off with something simpler, like perhaps just shapes. And when they say, we just want to start off with shapes and get some good shapes together, then that means you're playing around with the relationship between different size shapes and stuff like that so they're looking at um, the character from a glance so if it's super far away what does this thing look like is it interesting at that point you know what I mean um, after that then you get more detailed and more detailed and then color and texture and whatever uh, but it is important not to show them like this finished thing right away. Uh, if it's like, especially if it's heavy duty directors or art directors that have been through, you know, a bunch of films, you want to have them be able to uh, have ownership of the final design as well as yourself. Uh, but to kind of give them the sense that we're doing this together their input is important and we're going to create this character together it's just that you're the one drawing it um super long answer but that's 
those are all things that I never was taught in school that I only learned through um, grinding it out in, in different you know films. Thank you. You're welcome.